Hi, welcome to this community learning video explaining how to use Google Meet. Google Meet is an online video conferencing platform. Uh, we think it's a great fit for our tutors to keep in touch with their learners uh, and for staff to keep in touch with each other, particularly as we go through the coronavirus pandemic at the moment. Um, so what we need to do first of all is open up a browser window. Google Meet works exclusively in a web browser, so it's nice and easy to use on council computers, um, home computers, uh, and there are apps available as well. Uh, so what I've done is I've opened up a Google Chrome window. Google Chrome works best as it's a Google product as well. And I'm going to do a web search for Google Meet. Uh, first thing that comes up, hopefully, if there's no ads at the top, will be meet.google.com, which is the web page we need. And that takes you straight to a, a very attractive page with a different picture on there. Um, and you'll see it says user meeting code in the middle. Um, and that's purely because we're not signed in. So Google Meet is a, what's called a G Suite package, um, part of a G Suite package. So what you're required to do is log in with an account that's got the privileges to create meetings. So for us, that's our at communitylearningwest.net accounts and also our at onsitebristol.co.uk accounts. All of those accounts should be allowed to create meetings themselves. The important thing here though, is it's only the one person that needs to have that account. Anybody else can join in without even having a Google account. They can just use the link and just jump straight in, which makes it really simple for tutors to meet up with their learners, as an example. Let's stop myself coughing. Right, so what I'm gonna do at the top right, it says sign in. I'm gonna sign in with my communitylearningwest.net account. And you'll see that's changed the button here to join or start a meeting. And it also says nothing scheduled today. There are options here as well. We can pre-prepare meetings for certain dates um, that will then automatically start for people, um, but not very important. The main thing is we're gonna create a meeting and just send people a link to join in. I'm gonna hit the plus button. Um, so we could here, we could search for a meeting that's already existing, we knew the name, um, but for our purposes, we're just gonna start our own um, and we'll just call it test meeting. And you can call it whatever you want. It's just handy for people to have like a, a name to orientate themselves to when they arrive. So I'll hit create and we get this page here. So I'm just gonna swap my video over. The first thing you'll see is we've got camera failed. That's purely because I'm already using my camera to stream my lovely face in the bottom right. Um, you'll see in the bottom left of this video feed, a little green icon, and you'll see that in a few places around Google Meet and that's telling us, is it picking up my audio? So if you're not seeing that moving around when you're talking, your audio is not getting out to the internet and you've got a problem with your computer in terms of, um, you haven't told it which microphone to use, uh, your microphone switched off, it's connected to one that's not plugged in, that kind of thing. We've got options to turn off our microphone and our video um, before we go in. So if we're not comfortable sharing our video because we're wearing our pajamas or something, ideal. Just turn it off beforehand. On the right, I'll just swap again. We've got uh, test meeting, the name of the meeting. It says no one else is here because we've not sent the link out. We've got join now and present. Um, so we could start the meeting by going straight into presenting a document. Oh, I'll talk about that later. It's not important to do that now. We've also got this nice option here, which is join and use a phone for audio. If we click that, you'll see it defaults United States because Google. But we can click that, swap it to United Kingdom, and we get a phone number to dial in and a PIN number when prompted. Um, it's supposed to be free, but it's got a plus one code on it, so maybe just for emergencies, um, but the option is there. Um, you'd think Google would have sorted it out by now. It was a plus 44 code for a while, and it seems to have swapped. But anyway, that is an option. The main thing, though, is we're going to hit Join Now. First thing that happens is it pops up and tells us it's set up the meeting and in the middle we've got the joining info. And from here, we could just hit copy joining info. That copies all that text on the screen and puts it onto our clipboard. We could then paste that straight into a web, uh, web an email and send that off to everybody we want to join into our meeting and they can click those links and come straight in. Um, for my purposes, I'm just gonna grab the URL just to demonstrate later what that looks like. I'm gonna close that down. So running around the screen, normally we'd be seeing our own face in the middle of the screen. Uh, mine's blocked, so you just see my little icon and some movement because I'm talking. 
Um, I'm going to switch off my microphone just to avoid feedback later. At the bottom left, we've got test meeting. That's the name of our meeting. If I click that, we can get back to our joining info uh, and also we can access any attachments that we might want to include for people to work from. Down the bottom, we've got audio and video switching on and off. And we've got the end call button, which will switch this all down afterwards. Moving over to the bottom right, really important one, present now. So particularly for tutors who want to maybe work through a PowerPoint, um, but also perhaps as staff, you might want to work through a Trello board. You can hit present now, and you've got the option of presenting the entire window or just, um, sorry, just presenting your entire screen or just the window. So the window would be something like PowerPoint um, or Chrome, whereas the screen is everything you can see. Um, might be a bit risky sometimes presenting the entire screen in case you've got passwords up or personal information on your screen. Um, whereas the window, you can kind of lock down a bit more and show just what you want. If I select window, you'll see that you get a dialog box pop up <coughs> saying which window do you want. So you've got things like applications, we've got a notepad here, um, got folders, snipping tool, um, programs, so this could be PowerPoint. So you would just select the one you want and hit share. And what it will do then is it will send the image of that screen rather than the image of your face. So that's handy. And then finally at the bottom, we've got the options. You can access <coughs> a few different things to troubleshoot. The most important one is settings. Settings allows you to choose which microphone you're using, which speakers the sound's coming out of, and also gives you some options in terms of changing the video settings. Mine are mostly locked out because uh, I've got them all switched off. And then finally at the top right, We've got a little indicator that shows what we're sharing. At the moment, I'm not sharing anything, um, but this would be a, a little tiny video thumbnail showing the, the image I'm sending out. Um, and it would also show a little green indicator showing that I'm talking. And then the other two things are chat and people. If you click it open, people shows you who are, who's in the chat. And if you hit the chat icon, this is for people who don't want to talk in the, in the meeting, or perhaps they don't want to interrupt you because you're going through a long dialogue about you know, the subject you're talking about, they can go to the chat and they can start typing at the bottom and put in a question, hit enter, and that then joins the chat um, transcript. And so as a tutor, maybe you could finish the section you're doing and then see there's a, a number, of, number in the chat and then read through their questions and answer them at a time to suit you. So that's Google Meet in a nutshell. Um, all I'm gonna do now is just show you what it looks like when someone joins. So if I swap over to another window, if I can find my other window, uh, and I put that code in, so that's my meet code for this meeting. What will happen now is you can see that uh, I'm going to block my microphone and camera, but they could allow their microphone and camera. They'll get a little pop-up, which you couldn't see, um, which pops up at the top left just to say, do you wish to allow microphone and camera? Um, type in their name. Now they've got a sign-in option, they don't need to use the sign-in option. What they can do is they can ask to join the group. And so if I ask to join, and I'll swap back to my other window, you'll see that there's a, a, a join <coughs> indicator. So it says unverified, that's because Google doesn't know who this person is, because they've not signed in. Um, if they were a signed in member, it would just tell you their name. So someone's doing this meeting, James unverified, I can block them, or I can just click Admit and we get our first person on the video conference. And that is using Google Meet. It's very easy. Um, once you've used it once or twice, you won't find any real difficulties. The only issues normally are things around your microphone is not set up correctly. Um, so it's nice to have a play around maybe with one other person before you use it for real. Just send a link to somebody you know and say, can we make sure this works? So that's it. Thank you very much.